Well, now to the families who've had the misfortune of dealing with Todd Buzzer. He calls himself a builder, but his clients have other names for him. Have a look at my nice new bathroom, Martin. This is your new bathroom. This is the new Renault. No shower, no door, no spa. We've got a hole in the floor, a toilet that's crooked, no basin, no windows, no, privacy. no lights, no privacy. Not to mention no appearance from Todd the Builder. Where is Todd the Builder? Who knows where Todd the Builder is? G'day, Todd. G'day. How are you? G'day. Martin King from the Current Affair Channel 9. Cheers, your heart. Why don't you shake my hand? Very different builder, Todd Buzzer. Different names, different businesses, different addresses. The electrician was here this morning asking for the money for the wiring. He's rung Todd countless times, no answer. And lots of different victims. Jones, Buzzer, whatever your name is, mate. Here's your tab, 2,279 bucks. Pay up your dog. We need to speak up about people who are doing the wrong thing in the building industry. And he's one of them, unfortunately. What is this doing to your mother? Look, she's very confused about why we don't have a bathroom and why these people don't come back. Well, Deborah did have a bathroom until Todd Buzzer gutted it and buzzed off with her cash. And here's the wash-up. Um, look, it's cost me $8,500 so far, but I'm imagining it's going to go into the 20s and the 30s because half of this is going to have to come down and to get a new person in here to start to do this, they've got to start off where... Um, this Todd's left off. Deborah says she chose Buzzer to renovate her bathroom because he promised the job would take just six days. That was seven weeks ago. And the effect on Deb's mother suffering severe dementia is profound. She's very confused about where she needs to wash her hands and she's just been very, very sad lately because this has changed a lot of things in our life. We don't understand why people do this to other people. We're just an average family that just wanted something special we saved for it where is he on your list uh right at the top and what sort of list is that that's a list the windows that were never installed in deborah's bathroom came from a and d building supplies supervisor keith bramwell says the 2279 dollars was never paid even though deborah paid todd in cash dodgy yep definitely he's a con as far as i'm concerned has he ever come here using an alias uh, yep, the last time he ordered windows off us was uh, he was Todd Jones. Todd Jones? Yeah. Now you took him to court, what happened? Well, he, he rolled over and went bankrupt, so we weren't able to recover the funds that were still outstanding. Chad is one of Melbourne's biggest suppliers of plaster. Here, Todd Buzzer is banned. Harry Chadasco is the MD. Changes his names, changes his companies, so he keeps hiding under different uh, aliases. Harry wrote off $2,000 and wrote off Todd the shop in the process. I don't expect to get my money back. I'd love it back, mm -hmm. but I just want people to know that Todd Buzzer is a bad-hearted man. All right, well, you got me fired up now. Good. Good. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Good. We what caught up with Buzzer at his latest job in Melbourne's Leafy Hawthorne. What are you taking off on jobs for and not finishing jobs, taking people's money? That's not true. That's true. That's not true at all. You know, investigating a bloke like Todd Buzzer is like... Let me put it this way. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. We've linked him to seven different business names, eight aliases and six home addresses. The man is a menace. The human toll grows by the week and around him a cottage industry has sprung up of lawyers and debt collectors. Here's the pits. You couldn't get any lower. Phil Garvey is a debt collector. He's been chasing Todd What's-His-Name for years. 2001. 2003, 2005, 2006 and 2010. He keeps me in business. What would you tell the people of Australia about Todd Buzzer or Todd, what's his name? He should be inside. In jail? Mm. He's taken our money and he doesn't care. I told him. We're going to current affair. I don't care. We've just come from Deborah's place. Yep. She's in tears. I'm quite happy to finish the job. I said to her last week via an email. I'd be finishing the job and she chose not to. Martin, have a look at this toilet. It's all crooked here on the floor. Crooked, Todd. Quite happy to crooked. To the job for Just like you. We've been to Chad Plastering. They won't deal with you. You're banned. Haven't traded with them for years. Yeah, because you didn't pay your debts and you went bankrupt. Do you have a conscience with these people? No idea, mate. What about the different names and the aliases and all the different companies, mate? We want to bring this to justice and just warn people. You're not going to do a rudder on me, are you, Todd? Like you do a rudder on everybody else. Because that's what Todd does.
Just remember that builder's face because he keeps changing his name.